Hello, Veronica Spriggs here. Today we're going to be looking at a digital photography tip. What we're going to do today is create a porcelain skin effect. I've already completed this so that you can see what exactly I'm talking about. And here is the effect that's been applied to my photograph. As you can see, it's very striking and um, I hope you're gonna have fun learning this. This technique is actually very simple and you can see that already I've duplicated my image so that I'm not working on my original file. And let me show you how I've done this. I'm going to go ahead and promote my background to a layer. The very first thing we want to do is come down here to our adjustments layers and I'm going to create a new solid color adjustment layer and I want my adjustment layer to be white so I'm going to go ahead and toggle that in my color selector select OK now we're going to change this to soft light and what we're going to do now is go into our style panel by choosing blending options and we're going to go to blend if. What I want to do is split my slider, the lowest um, slider, by holding down my Alt key. Now I'm going to slide this all the way over and you can see that it's already created a difference. We've got the white tone but yet we still have the detail and coloring in the eyes and the hair etc etc. Now that that's complete, click OK now we're going to duplicate this layer several times. I think I'm going to duplicate it five times. We're going to do that by control J. One, two, three, four. Now I have five layers of my solid fill color. Now I'm going to group these layers, which you can do by simply your top layer is already selected. I'm going to scroll down and hit my shift key and click the bottom layer. Now you can see that all the layers have been selected. I'm going to pull my layers tablet out. Okay, now you can see that all the layers are selected. What I'm going to do now is control G to group my layers. Uh, now using my mask tool, I'm going to create a mask, then control I to invert the mask. Now we're ready to get started with our effect. Before I begin painting on my mask, I'm going to use my pen tool to select around my image. And the reason I'm doing that is because I don't want to deal with cleaning up the spillover afterwards. So very quickly, I'm just going to use my pen tool to create my selection. Now that I'm finished forming my path, I'm going to turn my path into a selection. Control, Shift, and Enter. Now I have my object selected. What I'm going to do to avoid any harsh lines is I'm going to go to Select, Modify, and I'm going to feather the edge of my selection. And I have my radius set at 2. Now we're ready to begin painting. I'm going to use brush size 
uh, my brush is set at 300 my hardness is set at zero so I'm using a very soft brush and I'm going to begin painting on my layer mask I'm going to deselect. Now we've got our effect created. Uh, if you feel that it's a little too harsh, you just want to go ahead and lower the opacity a bit. Play with your slider until you get the effect that you want to achieve. You can also, if you think that it's a little too much or a little too harsh, you can play with your layers and see exactly how porcelain you want the effect to be by toggling these layers on or off. I'm going to just um, lower the opacity of the last layer so that we're somewhere in between. And uh, that's it. <laughs> this is a very dramatic effect and as you can see it's really easy to recreate. So I hope you try this one and let us know what you think. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time. Bye bye.